Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell joins us live from Capitol Hill. So, Senator McConnell, the message you're receiving from these Massachusetts results when it comes to your legislative strategy, is it to say, hey, we've got a mandate now to do to stop the Obama administration? Or what is the line to say, we do want to work with them, but we now have a little more leverage to do that? Well, I had a chance to uh, listen to your previous guest, and I noticed they wanted to talk about everything except what the election yesterday was obviously about, and that was the health care bill. That's what's on everybody's minds, uh, not only in Massachusetts, but all across the country. I had the most extraordinary experience last Saturday flying back from Kentucky. A number of people brought the issue up, but the most interesting one was a woman who said, I'm a Ken Kentuckian, a constituent of yours, and my husband is from Massachusetts. We're going to Massachusetts to vote for Scott Brown because of the health care bill. So I think the, 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 the message of the moment is that the American people are asking us all across the country, even in the most liberal state in America, arguably Massachusetts, to, to defeat this health care bill, to start over on a truly bipartisan basis and get it right. I think that's the message from yesterday. And we're looking forward to welcoming uh, Senator Scott Brown uh, to, to, the, to the Senate. Sir, no question this is a big morning for Republicans, but I'm sure you couldn't help but notice the strategy Scott Brown ran up in Massachusetts. He did not run overtly as a Republican. He didn't cloak himself in the Republican Party. In fact, he all but eschewed the Republican label. What lesson do you draw from that in terms of your own playbook going forward and what it means about what he thinks of Republicans and the Republican Party's own problems? Well, I think, you know, how you run depends upon the state you're in. He was running in a state with 12 percent Republicans, three times as many Democrats, and a large body of independents. He ran a very, very smart uh, campaign, even in my state, which is two to one Democratic. I don't usually put Republican in my ads. Uh, I think, you know, how you run in terms of party label depends upon where you are in the country. Uh, he ran a very smart campaign. He's a very, very good candidate, and he understood uh, the mood of the people of Massachusetts, and as he pointed out last night in his acceptance speech, the mood of the country. They want us to now, stop look, the. Could yeah, I, they're, they're, they, they want us to to stop the spending, stop the yeah. borrowing, and stop the health care bill. Seem to be as much of a message to all incumbents uh, as well. Now I want to ask one other thing. Yesterday, Republican Senator George Voinovich had a private lunch with President Obama. Does that? Do you encourage all of the Republican senators to have one-on-one -on -one relationships with the president? Clearly, he's going to always be searching for a 60th vote, a 61st vote, now that he doesn't have 60 Democrats. Is that something you're okay with, or does that take away from the 2010 sort of playbook here a little bit, which, you know, makes this a referendum on the president? Look, <laughs> we, we don't tell our members who to have lunch with. We like the president. He's very personable. I have a good relationship with him. This is not about him. This is about policy. And he still has a chance here uh, to move to the middle, which is where, you know, where he ran his campaign in 2008. He still has a chance uh, to recalibrate, move to the middle, and go in the direction that could truly build uh, bipartisan uh, relationships in the Sir, Congress. Will, you be, will Republicans meet him in the middle, or will they be running to the right? Well, we're anxious to make progress for the country. And it, the, the, clearly the way to do that, if you want to have bipartisan support, and you need to have it in order to have the people accept it. I mean, the reason the American people didn't accept this health care bill is because they knew it had no bipartisan support, in addition to the fact that it was an awful <laughs> proposal, you know, cooked up behind closed doors with a whole lot of special deals, everything about it. Uh, turn the American people off. That's not the way to operate. The president ought to take this as a message to recalibrate how he wants to govern. And if he wants to govern in the middle, I think we'll be happy to meet him there. All right, Senator Mitch McConnell, Republican leader in the Senate. Hope you'll come back to the Daily Rundown. Appreciate your time this morning. Okay, thank you.